Congressman Richard Neal made a special visit to 22 News this week. Neal sat down with 22 News anchor Taylor Knight to discuss a series of topics ranging from immigration to West East Rail. Congressman Richard Neal stopped by our studios here in Chicopee, fresh off a series of votes in Washington for war and humanitarian aid. The congressman discussed that and other local issues impacting us here in Western Massachusetts. $95 billion in war aid is being sent from Washington to Ukraine, Ukraine. Israel, Taiwan, and civilians in Gaza. President Biden signing the legislation after House lawmakers overwhelmingly voted to pass these bills over the weekend, and the Senate followed suit late Tuesday night. Congressman Richard Neal was in Washington for the House vote on Saturday, voting yes on the funding bills following a months-long delay. These, by the way, are traditional Democrat-Republican positions that would have not been uncommon in the Reagan years, in the Bush years, the Clinton years, or the Obama years. These would have been what we would have seen as our obligation to NATO. The bills did not include any immigration reform, something Massachusetts Governor Moore Healy has been pushing the federal government for as the state continues to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on the emergency shelter system. Neil says there is an estimated 11 to 12 million undocumented immigrants living here in the U.S. right now. We need to get them to come out of the shadows of American life register and get in line so that we know who you are and you know the social security system is going to depend upon them and when you consider that they now pay uh, anywhere from eight to ten billion dollars a year in social security benefits that they're never going to draw because they use false identities and i think that there's a lot of the argument about immigration that, that needs a better uh, tuning Locally, Congressman Neal has been focusing on getting West East Rail up and running. He helped the state get $9 billion from the federal government to help improve infrastructure, including commuter rail. We don't want this money just going to the MBTA, which we know is going to require a huge investment. We already pay a cent on the sales tax for that, the MBTA. Our constituents don't exercise that opportunity to use the MBTA. So I want a corresponding effort from Boston to central and western Massachusetts. By next spring, Neil says track improvements will begin between Worcester and Boston. There are also talks to add stops in Palmer, Springfield, and Pittsfield, something that could help rural areas in western Massachusetts. Congressman Neal says another issue impacting rural towns is health care. There are a lot of people who are uh, nearly shut in in some of these rural towns. Um, maybe on the Vermont border, in the, some of the hill towns, the, the elderly in particular. Although some hospitals in the state have closed recently, North Adams Regional Hospital actually reopened after being closed for a decade. Neil says this will help people living in northern Berkshire County avoid the 30-minute drive down to Pittsfield to get the care they need. And we were able to change language in terms of uh, actually what winter's like in the Berkshires how traveling from North Adams to Pittsfield would be uh, very difficult during the winter months. Congressman Neal is running for re-election. You can see our whole interview with him up on our website, wwlp.com. Working for you, Taylor Knight, 22 News.